Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to show you uh, one pretty neat feature of QuickBooks 2018 when you start out uh, that could really give you a good idea of how the business is going. You know, from day to day, you're entering information, you're entering bills, paying bills, invoices, etc. Uh, but when you want to just get a good overview of the business and how it's doing, uh, you can go up here to this button up here. It says snapshots. Okay. All right. So when you pull up the snapshots, you're going to see a summary of information about the business. Okay. So you've got up here, you've got three tabs. You've got company payments and customer. All right. So you can look in here, income and expenses trend. Okay. And you can change this date. Um, it could be this month. Um, it could be this year to date. Okay, so you can see that uh, you get a quick overview of if your expenses are higher than your income or vice versa. Okay, you can look at previous year income comparison, customers who owe you money. Okay, so you see all of these different items here that are going to give you a really good kind of quick, just like it says snapshot view of how the company is doing. Okay, now if you want to change the content, you can just X out of some of these. Uh, you can also click this add content. Okay. And you're going to see up here, there are different items that you can add. Okay. And all of these items have already been added. All right. So now there's other ones here, you know, top vendors by expense, you can add vendors to pay reminders. Okay. Some people like to, you know, just see the reminders of what they have coming up, you know, money to deposit, checks to print, etc. Uh, but again, this is just a great way to get a quick snapshot of the business. All right. Now, if you go over to the payments tab, you're going to see here, uh, you've got kind of the same thing, uh, you know, invoice payment status, customers who owe you money, uh, payment reminders. And again, you can go up here and click add content. And you'll see here that all of these items have been added. Okay. You've also got some quick links if you need to receive a payment, credits, refunds, sales receipt, etc. Okay. Now the third one is the customer. Okay. So you can see this customer that has been chosen here. Uh, you can just pick one in particular, say Aaron Davies. Okay. And it's got, you know, summary information about this customer sales summary. Um, just a lot of great information that you can get all in one place without having to go to 10 different areas within QuickBooks. Okay. And again, if we go up here and add content, we can look at what content we can add about these customers. All right. All right. So hope this, hope, hopefully this uh, video helped and uh, will give you a good idea of just, you know, stepping back a little bit from the day to day input input of uh, the detail that you're putting into QuickBooks uh, 2018 and give you a good overview of the business, whether you're the business owner or you're a bookkeeper helping a business owner, working for a business owner and you can give them some quick information and you can look up this stuff really, really quickly. All right. Love to have you join us over at the QuickBooks University. Uh, the website over there is qbuniversity.org, and I will talk to you soon.